For the following video, we are given the point 5 over 13 and negative 12 over 13. And we are asked to find the following trig values. We are going to find sine of t, cosine of t, tangent of t. In order to do that, we need to know what those are equal to. And I already, I already went ahead and pulled those, and I have them here on the screen. Sine of t is just equal to the y value. Cosine of t is equal to the x value. Tangent is equal to y over x. So sine of t is equal to the y value. Our y value is negative 12 over 13. And we are dividing that by our x value, which is 5 over 13. Rule for dividing fractions says keep the first one. Just move the negative 12 over 13 over. Division becomes multiplication. And take the reciprocal, so flip the second fraction. That 13 in the numerator will cancel with the 13 in the denominator making tangent t a negative 12 over 5. For our next example, we have the following point here, and we are going to work on finding cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Starting with cosecant first, cosecant is equal to 1 over y, or 1 divided by y. So again, we can uh, type that into the calculator, Working that by hand, 1 divided by y, so we can do 1 divided by the y value, which is negative 2 square roots of 10 over 7. Division rule, keep the first, change the symbol, flip the second fraction. Now, one thing is just that anything. So, um, 1 times negative 7 over 2 square roots of 10 is just negative 7 square roots over 10. Rules for radicals also says that if we have a radical left in our denominator, it is not considered simplified. To get rid of that radical, that square root of 10 from our denominator, we multiply numerator and denominator by the square root of 10. Now, when we multiply that out across numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, negative 7 times the square root of 10 is just negative 7 square roots of 10. Drop down the 2 while we multiply the square root of 10 times the square root of 10 in our denominator. And the square root of 10 times the square root of 10 is just a 10. So when we simplify this, again, just move over your numerator. And the denominator, 2 times 10 is 20. Do check to see if anything else simplifies. 7 over 20 does not re reduce. The square root of 10 radical cannot be simplified. So this is what cosecant of t is equal to. Let's work on finding what secant of t is. And secant of t is actually equal to 1 over x. So 1 divided by x would just look like, well, 1 divided by our x value, which is negative 3 sevenths. Again, keep, change, flip. Keep the first, change the symbol, flip the second one. 1 times negative 7 thirds is just a negative 7 thirds for secant of t. Our last one is cotangent. And we have cotangent of t is equal to x over y. So let's go ahead and plug that in. x divided by y. So x is a negative 3 sevenths divided by y, which is a negative 2 square roots of 10 over 7. So when we do the calculation here, remember, keep the first, change the symbol, flip the second fraction. The 7 up top will cancel with the 7 down bottom. Uh, leaving us with, well, let's see, negative times negative here is positive in the numerator, so we're left with the 3 over 2 square roots of 10, which once again here we're left with the radical in the denominator. To get rid of it, we multiply top and bottom by that radical. Multiplying across in the numerator gives us 3 square roots of 10. In the denominator, move over the 2. Square root of 10 times square root of 10 is 10. And to wrap out here, all we have to do is multiply out that denominator to get a 20 there. Since 3 over 20 does not reduce, square root of 10 does not reduce. So this is our answer for cotangent of